Welcome guys, nice to meet you. I'm Sam O'Brien. For news today, we're not gonna we're not gonna lead a debt because I keep hurting everybody's feelings. And I'm gonna be honest with that. Uh we're gonna be talking about the news that happened today. Alright, I found one here. So who is who the hell is this guy? So, Cohen gives insider details at a trial as Trump's defense attorney accuses him of seeking vengeance. We all know Trump's been getting in court. In court. Uh, that's my opinion. I'm a Democrat, but whatever. Well, this is new, so it can't be my opinion. It's a fact. You know what? Let's just keep doing this. New York. It wasn't until after a decade in Ford. After his family pleaded with him, after the FBI raided his office, apartment, and a hotel room, Michael Cohen testified Tuesday and finally decided to turn in Donald Trump. A compliment break led to a 2018 guilty plea to federal charges in, in, involving a payment to the porn actor, Stormy Daniels, to her buyer story of an unusual encounter with Donald Trump and uh, to other unrelated crimes. This is horrifying right now. And that insider knowledge of shady deals that push Manhattan prosecutors to making Cohen the star witness in their case against Trump about the same payment which they said was a legal effort to influence the 2016 presidential election. Now let's see what we know about tr about Trump's hush money trial. To follow the AP's life coverage as Trump's former lawyers return to stand, a guide to term used in the Trump trial. Trump is the first ex-president on criminal trial. Here's what we know about the hush money case. Trump is facing four crimes intimates and in civil lawsuits. You can track all these cases here. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Hold on. <coughs> to keep the loyalty and to do things... That he asked me to do, I violated my moral compass and I suffered the penalty as has my family go and testify Thursday. But defense attorneys sought pro Cohen as a motivated by vengeance on his former on his former boss, confronting him on the witness stand with the profane social media about Trump. And wanting to see the former president in handcuffs. Trump, Trump, I don't think Trump has said a word so far. I don't know. That's just what I think. The most stunning moment came outside the courtroom Tuesday when Speaker John, sorry, Speaker Mike Johnson showed up with Trump, who used his powerful woolly pulpite to turn his political party against the rule of law by declaring the trial illegitimate. And he and he and other GOP lawmakers are serving the surrogates while Trump himself remains bared by a gag order in case the following and appeals court ruling Tuesday. Do I have a lot of surrogates? And they're speaking very beautifully. They, Trump said before court as the group gathered in the back room, they came from all over Washington and they highly respected and they think it's the greatest scam they ever. The Republican presidential nominee has pleaded not guilty and denies any of the encounter took first place. We have more. Oh, this is the last one. As the prosecutor laid out their case, Cohen testified about the proposed disability, checks, false recipes, and, no, what is that, recipes? What? And blind loyalty that Trump placed at, camp, at the center of the shoe. 
A testimony somewhat dry for a man who was defined for years by his braggadocio as Trump problem zapper underscore the prosecution's foundation argument that the case isn't about to spectate a spectacle of what Trump was paying for, but rather his effort to le- to illegally cover up those payments. Cohen has testified in detail about how the former president was linked to all aspects of the hush money scheme, but the prosecutors believe Cohen's testimony is critical to their case. But their reliance on a witness such as Checker passed, he was disturbed, went to prison, and separately pleaded guilty to lying about Moscow estate project on Trump's behalf. Could backfire, especially Trump's attorneys who continued to cross-examine him. There's more Trump that we're going to do in a few days. Alright, so now we have my opinion about it. In my opinion, I do think that, I don't know what, I don't know why he wanted, well, maybe I wasn't listening. So, Michael Cohen was trying to, Michael Cohen and a bunch of other Republicans that didn't like Trump, I think, want him in handcuffs. The, in a 2018 plea, federal charges including payment to the porn actor Stan Storm Daniels. Okay. Um, well, it could be. Maybe he is true, but they made their decision. Let me read this again real quick. Oh, but wait, there's more. All right. I don't recall saying that, but I wouldn't post. But I wouldn't. Pass at me, Cohen testified. At another point, Lane asked if it was fair to say that you were motivated by fame. No, sir. I do not think that's fair to say. Cohen said later, adding, I am motivated by many things. Cohen will be the prosecution's last witness. Trump's defense will begin after Cohen. There was not clear whether his lawyers will call any witnesses or if Trump will testify in his own defense. Now that is what it is. Bye.